Hello, I'm Brian Blancett, and I'm proud to be a member of the NRC School Board. It's been a privilege to serve the school for several years and be a part of great progress in facilities and programs in an effort to showcase graduates and long-term faculty members from our historic first senior class, we conducted a roundtable interview hosted by NRC's media productions class with faculty and three special seniors. We hope you enjoy their shared experiences of being a Cougar in 2022. So the first thing I wanna do is thank everyone for coming and being a part of this interview that actually started with a group of seniors, these two gentlemen right here, came over to my office for a yearbook project to talk about the birth of our new high school. And the brainstorming began from there where we started thinking, we want a historical perspective, someone that's been at North Rock Creek for decades. We'd like a community perspective. So we involved a board member and we want a student perspective, even a student that has been here since pre-K and watched our school grow from a little bitty country school just north in Pottawatomie County of Shawnee to what we are today. So I think we ought to start with introductions from the group. Hi, I'm, I'm Jaden Brown and I've been here since pre-K and I'm just really happy to be here right now. Hi, my name is Trenton and I've been here since fourth grade. Uh, my name is Caden and I've been here since the eighth grade. I'm Denise Smith and I'm the elementary principal and I've been here for 33 years. My name is Blake Moody. I'm the superintendent at North Rock Creek School and I've been here just over a decade. My name is Brian Blancett and I'm on the school board here at North Rock Creek. So I'm always interested from a school leader perspective of how decisions that we make, oftentimes from an office, how that decision impacts our community and our kids. So I'm just going to open it up to Jaden, Trenton, and Caden and kind of let you guys pitch in and talk about some of the first thoughts you had when we announced that North Rock Creek, this pre-K through eighth grade school, since about statehood, petitioned the State Board of Education and became one of the very few schools in the state of Oklahoma to become a high school, adding one grade level at a time. And I'll just start with you, Jaden. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. When I first heard about it, I thought, you know, it was just people talking, getting their hopes up. But to see them actually build it my eighth grade year after, you know, growing up in elementary school, just that building over there, the Burn building was the place we were supposed to go. And then being in the middle school was already surreal enough. So high school was just like a fantasy, you know. But now that we're here, especially in this building, which is brand new too, it's, it's, it's surreal. It's, there's no words I can really put into it to say how I feel growing up here for so many years. What about you, Trent? You know, when I found out, I was actually very excited because I, I love the community at North Rock Creek. And so thinking that that might come to an end my eighth grade year and thinking I'm going to have to go to a whole new school, learn new people, learn new teachers, you know. And I was afraid some schools, you're kind of just a number, so, but here you were like a family member, so whenever they announced that my class would be the first class, I was very excited. I think for me, um, I come from a bigger school district, so um, coming to a new school and, you know, you find out that it's going to be a new, a brand new high school, um, I was a little bit apprehensive at first because I was thinking, you know, this is a new high school, maybe some of this stuff that I was expecting for high school at this bigger school district um, wasn't going to be the same as it would be here. But then um, once I came here, all of that worry and doubt immediately went away. I think the North Dakota Creek community is very close-knit, which is something I didn't have at my old school. And so I think it's really interesting to see all these different um, groups and how they all come together while still being differentiated. So you mentioned something, Trenton, you, you talked about uh, the family component of North Rock Creek and from an employee side of the school I totally believe in that I know you guys all of you have siblings that have went through North Rock Creek mm -hmm. uh, or currently at North Rock Creek uh, we have husband and wife 
teaching combos. We have uh, many uh, relatives that are here at North Rock Creek, and I can tell you the staff feels the same way that the, that the students do. We feel like this is our family. So when we spoke a few months ago, one of you guys, and I can't remember which one, said something fairly profound. Everyone always talks about how excited the students were to move from eighth grade and stay at the same school and attend North Rock Creek High School and not go to a surrounding school district. One of you said, I actually looked at it as a bit of a risk in that North Rock Creek didn't have any established programs. They didn't have a, a high school marching band. And I know you guys are a part of that. And so talk a little bit about what you meant when you said North Rock Creek High School, attending North Rock Creek High School was a bit of a risk. Um, you know, from my parents' perspective, when pre-enrollment started happening in our eighth grade year, it was very like, are you sure you want to do this? You realize you're giving up a lot of things. And you know, as you know, as a little eighth grader, you don't I didn't really think about everything high school had to offer, you know. I wasn't thinking about homecoming. I, I didn't even know what that was <laughs> until like my freshman year. But you know, my parents were like, Are you really sure you want to give it up? And I was like, Well yeah, all my friends are there, you know, and so I pre enrolled at North Rock Creek. But when I got in my freshman year, I realized Oh, I, I did give up a lot, you know, but I really, I chose to continue to stay. There was a couple times I was like, oh, I think I might just go to Shawnee, you know, maybe get the full experience that I'm wanting. But I chose to stay because I didn't really want to lose everything that North Rock Creek was offering, you know, the family component, the close-knit with your friends. And so, um, but now it's a fully developed high school. <laughs> And it's completely different than it was four years ago, which is crazy to me. I think um, part of the reason I was a little bit apprehensive is because I'd heard about all these things, uh, you know, homecoming, prom, everything. And it was a very, like, scary thing for me to not have those, to not feel like it was a normal high school experience. But in the end, we got to create those things. We got to do the first of those things. I got to be in the first Cougar Court for homecoming. Um, and so it was a very cool experience to be the first in pretty much everything. Talk about some of the new programs, one of which I'm going to brag on right now. This interview will be produced and edited by North Rock Creek's very own multimedia productions class, a group of students that Mr. Tim Russell directs, and they are doing all of the video, audio, editing, and they're an incredible and an incredibly talented group that's putting this interview together. So talk about some of the other programs that are new to North Rock Creek and that you guys helped make great already. I'm absolutely in love with drama because I used to be a really shy kid. I didn't want to talk to nobody. Just talking to teachers was hard for me because I was just really, really shy. And to go up on stage and to have such a big part and do it in front of all these people, to really get out of my comfort zone and try to have that opportunity that North Dark Creek has given me. It's, it's amazing to have such a thing here because before we didn't have that, we didn't have none of that. And then when we had it, I didn't know how much I was going to enjoy it. So. Jaden, I, I can personally attest to watching you grow up and since you were four years old and you said you were shy, I could hardly get you to talk to me. <laughs> and now you're leading our NRC news. You're out in front in drama. So uh, sincerely, it's been a pleasure to watch you grow up and, and lead this school the way you have. Thank you. Caden, what new programs have you been a part of? I think... Uh, probably one of my favorite has been um, academic team. We start, I joined in ninth grade. Uh, there wasn't many people. It was probably like six or seven people. And we just practice and we go to the meets. Uh, they didn't seem as like big and uh, competitive. But now coming up to my senior year, our academic team is full of like, there's 30 people in it now. 
Um, a lot of them are freshmen, and so it's been really cool to watch them grow too, as uh, you know, just get smarter and answer more questions. It's been really cool to watch all of them grow. Talk about your senior class of around 90, Trenton. You've known those kids for many, many years. Mm -hmm. But when you walk the halls at North Rock Creek High School, what new faces are you seeing as those freshmen come in and what's that experience like? Yeah, it's completely different from what it used to be because, I mean, I remember just, just in our eighth grade year, like, 60 was a lot of kids like I remember there were 60 of us we were like oh we're breaking you know we're breaking numbers now you know it was that was record-breaking and then when we hit about 90 in our freshman year it's kind of like oh we're we're getting a little bigger you know but from those four years ago to now it's like every day I see somebody I didn't know I'm like, <laughs> like who are you where did you come from you know because when you used to be a new kid at North Rock Creek you were like you're kind of like outstanding, like you, nobody knew who you were and everybody knew you were the new kid, but now if a new kid comes, it's like, oh. Add them to the pile. Yes. Add them to the pile. Add them to the pile. You know, it, it's so different. And now, I mean, a freshman class of almost, what, 140 of them? Mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. It's surreal. And Dr. Smith, sitting right next to me, was the first face I saw at North Rock Creek when I came July 1st, 2011, and I remember I couldn't put into words what it was about this lady, and I couldn't describe to someone from the outside who she was or what she was about. I just know I felt comfortable, I felt at home, and I knew this was the place for me. So this is Dr. Smith, and I want her to explain where we've come from at North Rock Creek. When I came to North Rock Creek, I was the youngest teacher. And for the first two years, I was in, so I kind of feel like what you guys did. It's like I kind of came into the community, didn't know very well, but instantly felt like I was a part, even as a staff member. And that same feel that you're talking about has been here for a very, very, very long time. And those kids were your kids. They were those teachers were your brothers and sisters. It was just that, com that community was even honestly here before I came here. And we just have kept growing it and cultivating it and protecting it. And back, I, I've I was sitting here thinking, what about, don't, don't want to misrepresent, what was the number of students? And I'm thinking that when I started North Rock Creek, that it was around four to 500 kids. And that was, that's not a lot of kids. It didn't take us long to learn all the names. And we all pitched in and, uh, and, and he did. Even if I taught younger kids, I still knew all the older kids' names. And whether it was, I was I, my, in the beginning, I did some cheer coaching and things. And so and we did duties with each other. And so we really did get to know all the kids. And you knew all the teachers' names. And then we just continued to grow. Uh, we were very excited and there has been talk about a high school since I came in in 1988. That's when I first started at North Rock Creek and there was always a, I wish we could have a high school and a high school would be a wonderful thing to have. So that dream has been a dream in the making for a very long time and to be able to sit here to talk about where we were and where we came from is just almost surreal because it's 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 been, it's been in people's thoughts and prayers for just such a very long time. So this school has, in the last 11 years, 12 years, passed two broad bond issues. <clears throat> the first was in 2010, 2011, to build the new middle school. And I can tell you at that time that building a middle school attached to a large event center gymnasium had the high school in mind. Mm -hmm. And not very many years later in 2017, we passed another bond issue that actually built the high school after permission from the State Board of Education allowed that. That high school that is 43,000 square feet that sits on that hill is a showpiece. In 
Pottawatomie County in the region, and we're so proud of it, so fortunate to be a part of it. And it's providing wonderful experiences for all the kids that attend at North Rock Creek. From the community standpoint, sitting next to a guy that has lived here for several years, but been in the Shawnee area for even longer than that, um, what was the passing of North Rock Creek High School bond issue, building North Rock Creek High School as a board member, what was that like? Well, it was uh, <clears throat> exciting, but also it felt good because a high school had been a dream in the community for decades. And so being a part of bringing that to reality was, was really a satisfying thing. I went to a school that was much smaller than North Rock Creek. I think we had 42 in my graduating class. And <clears throat> really you had no options for extracurricular activities. Boys could play ball or show animals and that was about it. And with passage of the high school, we've been able to offer a lot of things to let students discover things about themselves. You know, sports, music, drama, this class with media production. And I think in addition to the core academics, being able to provide those kind of things for students really serves the community well. So seniors, are you excited about graduation? Oh, words cannot explain. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, Mr. Potter, he actually pulled out the pomp and circumstance. Uh, so it was, it's kind of a bittersweet moment to hear what in five months we're going to be hearing as we walk in the gym with everyone watching us. <laughs> so it's a little nerve wracking. But you mentioned Mr. Potter starting a new band program at North Rock Creek, starting and establishing the marching band, mm -hmm. the pride of North Rock Creek. That is exciting. Um, so what traditions at the new North Rock Creek High School have you been a part of? What brand new traditions have you helped make? I mean, I was, obviously, like I said earlier, a part of the first homecoming court, and that was a really cool experience. But um, being involved in all these other things, like the start of our FCCLA program, you have these traditions, they have the meetings that you go to, and you hang out with each other, and there's just so many traditions that, we, <laughs> that we've started here. Uh, you've got like the Red Ribbon Week traditions, they keep growing every year. You know, we have the dress-up days, obviously, but then you grow the lunch games, and there's all these different cool things that are really special, each in their own way. I, I remember my sophomore year, we, uh, we wanted a homecoming week, but it was impossible because there weren't juniors and seniors, and it was just, it was, it was so awkward just to have freshmen and sophomores, so we called it Spirit Week because we didn't want to call it Homecoming Week, and so... Now we always have a fall spirit week and a, and the fall spirit week is homecoming week, but the um, spring spirit week is kind of like, it's kind of like the spring homecoming, but without homecoming. Well, we will have a home to come to next year. We'll have a true homecoming. Trenton, that's an interesting point you make about uh, what a typical high school would call a homecoming. Mm -hmm. Jaden, you excited about graduation? I don't know how to feel about it too, too, because to see where I've been and to see where I'm at right now, it's it's, it's an odd feeling, you know. You didn't. I never expected me to be this far, and if you told me that I'd be speaking in front of <laughs> so many people, having the opportunity to act, to talk to different people, people coming up to me and recognizing me, feeling like when I was younger, feeling like I could just get away with just in the crowd, but now that I have, people know my name, people come up to me and say stuff to me, and you know, they, they're like, are you the guy from the news? I'm like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Not even just in school, but even outside of school. It's, it's crazy, you know, just from that little kid that just never wanted to talk to anybody, to being recognized and being a part of so many programs. And when I get to graduation and looking back, and seeing where I've come, it's just, I don't know how to feel. It all doesn't feel real, it's all hitting me still. 
it's almost like you don't want to stop growing here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you just keep growing and you keep becoming this well-rounded and a person with good morals and good standards. And it's really hard for you to just go off somewhere else and just be like, all right, time to be a brand new person. <laughs> I think it, and it's hard. It's really hard for me because our class has, for the last five years, led the school into what is now the high school. Mm -hmm. And to realize that our time's ending and it's up to the next class and then the next class and then the next class. It's like, you know, we've done all this and now you're shipping us off into the real world. <laughs> and it's just kind of like a... Ooh. But I'm, I'm excited for the future, but it's yeah. sad, to, sad to leave what is home to us, you know. Mm. Well, our faculty feels much of the same things that you guys feel going to school. We call it going to school too. That's right. This is not going to work for us. Our families are here. Mm -hmm. This is our hobby. My two kids go here. I get to go to school with my wife every day. So uh, we have all those same types of emotions about this place too. It's very special. It's been incredible watching you guys grow up and help us make North Rock Creek High what it is. Well, I personally just want to say thank you guys for creating this for us. Um, and even those who you said stand, stood on your shoulder, or you're standing on their shoulders, um, just want to thank everyone who's helped this place become what it is. Um, but personally, I would like to ask, when you guys were creating this high school and just dreaming it up and creating the plans for it, the floor plans, the designs, everything. Did you guys think that it was going to get this big or did you expect it to stay kind of that like 80 kids per class? We were graduating 60 eighth graders when we started designing this high school. And in our minds, we thought if we double that number, get to about 120 and add a little padding, maybe 130, 140, that'll be plenty big, right? Right. And within the first two years, we outgrew our high school. And we've brought in new structures to, to be able to accommodate that extra space for kids and teachers. And hopefully, the future brings uh, another opportunity for a possible bond issue in this area. Um, that would not necessarily raise any property taxes, would just be a maintenance bond issue to add classrooms and to add uh, structures, maybe ag facility outside of the high school, uh, performing arts centers, um, those additional facilities that, that would just make North Rock Creek High School that much better is in the future. But to answer your question, we did not have any clue that it was going to explode like it has. I would just like to, again, thank all of y'all for allowing me to do this. It's a great honor to be able to speak in front of everyone, especially you, um, Dr. Smith. Since I've known you for so long, like, yeah. and I've known you basically my whole life, like, it's just good to be able to talk to y'all. Um, I think one thing I want to talk about, especially for me, and I know how others, how others feel too, coming from different schools, um, we have this thing in drama where we pick out a word or we did it this year, another tradition we started in drama, a word for seniors. What word would you describe this play and how it affected you? And I said, triumph. Mm -hmm. And you know, with all the things that hits the school, you know, bonding issues and things in my life that have tried to hold me back, it's the willingness to keep moving forward and the opportunities that are handed to you. And if you're willing to accept the hardships with those opportunities, then you'll succeed. And I didn't know that before, but you know, just taking that step forward and trying something new, trying something that is unfamiliar and uncomfortable, and then seeing where it can take you, it's, I think it's just amazing that NRC has that, you know, that feel to it, that you can make it here. You, can, you will have a name here. You're not just someone that will push to the side. And, you know, I'm just very thankful for that. Appreciate you saying that, Jaden. Well done, guys. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you.